Hi there, this is a uh, follow-up to uh, Zorn OS 15 Lite. Uh, this is more in customization. Uh, as you can see, it looks a lot different than uh, your traditional Zorn. I uh, changed the wallpaper. I've used a dark theme. I've got dark panels here. I took the start menu that would have been on the far left and I moved it into a additional panel vertically and put it right here. And then I put my multimedia apps in here. And um, as you can see here on the far right, I put notifications, the volume control, um, show desktop, um, or minimize all windows, terminal here. And then I also put in a um, action button, just a single click action button. If you right click on the icon, go to properties. Then I just change this to action buttons as opposed to session menu. Uh, I unchecked the, uh, the show confirmation dialog and I unchecked every box in here other than restart because that's the one I want to use for here. And it's just a single click. So uh, without the confirmation, you can just do a single click. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, then I also put another action button here. This is just strictly suspend. And then I put a, a application menu here. Um, I guess I should click on it first so you see what it is. So it's just a simpler menu, but I have all the logouts here as well. So, um, and then I also customize the icon by, if you right click on the default icon, which I think is a mouse, um, you would right click on it, go to properties, you click on this icon and it'll give you options to choose a particular icon. And that's how I got the Zorn icon. So, um, <clears throat> moving on, um, I guess I'll show you how the, how I did the panel. Um, if you right click on your panel, go to panel preferences, you can see that this is panel zero here. Uh, I made this panel one, I made this panel two on the far right, and I made this panel three at the top. Um, so zero, I don't know why they didn't start with one, but maybe there's a good reason why it's zero. So um, anyway, the zero panel, which is the bottom, uh, the first tab display, it's showing it horizontal, that the panel is locked, it, it, it's automatically hid intelligently. Um, <clears throat> I made the row size or the thickness of it 55 and the length from left to right at 75 for my particular display. You can do it any way you want. I was just showing you what I've done. Um, and then going to the middle tab, appearance, the style or the background style is none. The icons adjust size automatically. I think this is on by default. If not, you'd want to turn it on. And the reason is obvious to make sure that these icons will enlarge other than being so tiny as they are in the default. Um, then opacity, I uh, the leave slider, I put it to 10 and that gives this the the transparency as you see here so when you hover your mouse it'll go opaque and the, or transparent and i thought it looked kind of nice that way so that's the way i put it and then i duplicated that up here for the top panel so basically the bottom and the top are identical in terms of their uh, in terms of their appearance in terms of these settings here in the appearance tab and then, um, yeah, display uh, identical other than, of course, the length. The top one, I believe I put it all the way to minimize uh, and, and it'll adjust accordingly as you add um, items in the panel. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, then on these panels, the left and right panel, if you get to the very edge, you can uh, right click and go to panel preferences. And then I, uh, it's as, as I mentioned before, this is panel one. It's vertical, it's locked. I automatically hide the panel always for the left and the right. And then um, it's 55 for the thickness of it. 
and then I see the length is just I think it's the minimum is 10 maybe is as far as 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 uh, as minimum as you can go I believe um, then under appearance uh, you can see it's similar to the one here to the bottom and the top other than I left the opacity uh, to 100 so um, that's showing you these panels um, what else do I want to show you? Well, I guess I should go to the third tab. The items in the on the bottom, this is panel zero. You can see that there's various launchers here which represent all of these. And then I put a directory menu and places uh, um, folder, I guess you could say. And the places and directory and the doc bar X, those all can be added. Uh, by just going right clicking on the panel add items and they're in here the dock bar X is is already installed by default so you won't have to install that but the uh, directory menu and the places are ones that I added for just additional ways of getting into your file manager or getting to a particular folder um, of course you can add other things here whatever you uh, desire that, that is in here uh, this is just what I chose for this. Um, and then I guess I could show you the, you'll notice these little arrows here. These are launchers that um, you can integrate multiple launchers inside of them. And to do that, you would just right click on it, um, go to uh, properties, and you'll see that I have multiple launchers in here. So whatever launcher you put in there, you can continue to add the additional ones just by hitting the plus sign here. So if I, you know, if I want to add another, another launcher, I could put in, uh, let's, just, or let's just say accessibility, click add, and then you'll see it here. And then you can go up or down to move it wherever you want it. Uh, but I'm going to remove this right now because I don't want that item in here. So remove, and then when you have multiple launchers, if you go to the second tab, Advanced, um, you can check this so it shows the last used item in the panel. So that if you ever want to get to that, if you're using that more frequently, then it will show uh, every time. And then the arrow button position, which you see here showing up, it's also inside the launcher. This gives you the option to decide where you want to put that arrow and I wanted it inside the button. So that's how I have it. And so that represents doing multiple launchers in a single launcher. And then these are just separate launchers. Um, of course, this is simple screen recorder here and here because I'm recording uh, your network. Um, this item is U Launcher, which uh, is something I added in the show notes. It'll show you how to get it, how to install it. Uh, pretty nifty. You hit Control Space. You can type in files. Bring up your Thuner manager, manager just with Enter. Uh, it does a lot more than that. Um, I'll right click and give you just a brief uh, uh, description. Or here that you have abilities for preferences, shortcuts, extensions, which I haven't played with. I've hardly played with it at, at all at this point. Um, it's new to me, but so far I've been impressed. Uh, this is version 5.4.0 uh, as a reference. Uh, you can change the hotkey that initiates it. Uh, the default is control space. Uh, the color theme I went with dark because I have a dark theme. You can launch it at login by checking that. And then of course checking uh, show indicator icon which shows it right here. So you know you can configure it in many ways. Uh, very impressed with it at this point. Um, and let's see what else. I've talked about this. And, and these are more my utility and image uh, applications I put here on the right. It's always just a matter of what works for you. Um, and in here I have a, a notification app, the power app, the clock which was uh, modded which I've described in other videos. And I put the trash can there. And I think what I'm going to do is I better use my guide here to help me make sure I've 
shared all that I wanted to share here. Um, of course, you can get Zorn Light. That'll be in the show notes. Uh, I talked about customizing panels. You can change the icon size on the desktop. These, this, the icons here. I, if you go into uh, desktop settings, uh, I went into icons. Um, this is where you can adjust the size right here, icon size. I brought it down to 58. I think the default was 64. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> then you can also down here, you know, you can, uh, you want to show removable drives or your trash can or the file system. You can check items here. Um, it's just a matter of what works for you. Um, let me see what else here. Uh, Talked about start menus. I installed the Cor Corla icon theme as I have in previous videos. I, I I like it a lot, so I seem to install it uh, quite often. And I'm using a dark theme, as you can tell. Um, if you want to install a Clipboard Manager, uh, by all means do so. Clip it might be a good choice. There's a, 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 some info on Clipboard Managers here that'll be in the uh, show notes. A link for that, a link for you launcher. As I mentioned, you can install Light DM GTK Greeter, uh, which will allow you to customize your login, um, and you can do that either in. If you go to your Start menu, you can go to the Software Manager, or if you've installed um, uh, Synaptic Package Manager, you can install it that way. Uh, and the same goes for Redshift. If you want to, uh, you know, read about Redshift, if if it's something that it, it may work for you, it may not. It just seems to, um, I guess, it changes the color spectrum of your display. So in the evening, it's easier for you to uh, easier on the eyes and uh, may actually help you go to sleep uh, better. Or I, sh I don't want to say better, but uh, it allow you to feel sleepy when you're supposed to be sleepy. I guess because you're getting less blue light. Um, so that you should be able to install with the software center as well as Synaptic, I believe as well. And then um, in the previous video, I talked about some issues or concerns and I've just duplicated it here for your reference. So um, anyway, that's it. And I uh, hope this helps some of you. Thanks for watching.